Good afternoon, everybody. Um, today I'm going to try and demonstrate my uh, Street Fighter 2 AI that I trained using Stable Baselines A2C. I'm going to try and demonstrate it live. Okay, here we go. Um, the uh, training, here actually I'll show you the, 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 the file here a little bit. So it's just retro, stable baselines, I got all those, don't need them, I only use the CNN policies, you can see there. Um, I tried both PPO2 and A2C, A2C gave me the best results for this particular thing, it also worked the best for the F0 before. I made safe states of Ryu versus all of the characters he would come across in the thing. Uh, it's the Genesis version, I'm using uh, multi processors. Uh, the uh, this is all built right into stable baselines because they did a fantastic job. Um, the I'm gonna load my old one. So normally when you train it, it doesn't look like this. It looks like this, but you guys can see that all in my uh, F Zero video. Um, I what I did was I looped through all the states and I trained for a small number of things several times. I think there's probably ten times a hundred thousand of each character in this guy. Uh, oh yeah, all the save states are done on medium difficulty, and I'm playing back on easy, which seems like a cheat, but it's the best way to do it for real. I'm gonna turn off the record function here because I don't want it to write over my previous one, which worked really well. Um, what else? I think that is it. I mean, the rest of this is just a for loop to run through the the uh, previously trained AI. Okay, here we go. Uh, go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm going to try and zoom in on the uh, window as it's as it pops. Are you going to pop up or what? This thing takes so long. If anyone would like to give me a better GPU, <laughs> I would gladly accept it. Because mine... Oh, here we go. We're ready. Okay. Go. Yeah. Okay, so um, as I'd mentioned previously, this was trained on uh, medium, and it's being played back on easy. So the first couple of characters, up until I believe the car, they're ridiculously easy. I I uh, tried this with just a random input bot, and he beat the first couple of guys. So there's it's literally zero challenge to get to the car. But um, hopefully, we'll get all the way to M. Bison, and you'll see that uh, there's a little bit, a little bit of logic in this bot. It's the same one I used for F0, so. Yeah. Uh, right, here we go. And there go. Oh, man. So E Honda beat him once already, so that's not great. Okay, there's two for uh, Ryu against E Honda. Do, do, do. There's a thing I learned about um, uh, the retro libraries that start and select are disabled by default, and you need to uh, turn them on if you want to use them in a game. So games like, for example, Punch Out, which I've been training a bot up on recently, uh, you you have to specifically state that it can use start, otherwise you won't do the uppercuts or go to the next match. It's a big pain in the butt. He's kicking blank his ass here. That's good. You notice he basically does the same things over and over again. One of the reasons I think the A2C bot works best for this is because uh, if you watch the F-Zero, he, he like rocks back and forth between left and right. There's a lot of like wobbliness. So I think the wobbliness is uh, like a learned randomness, which in Street Fighter converts itself into uh, special moves. He does a lot of dragon uppercuts and a lot of fireballs. Oh man, don't let Guile kick your ass. I used to play as Guile and most when I was a kid. Oh, dude, let's do it. Come on, get him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it gets scary. It gets real spooky against, like, Ken. He's, Ken is so hard. And Ryu himself, if he plays himself, it's real bad. Uh, again, apologies about the resolution of the video. The Street Fighter games are pretty low res on, uh, on this... AI. I think it's like 220 by 224 or something tiny like that. So here he's going to utterly fail on the car. He has no idea what to do. Uh, this is because I did not train him on the cars. But whatever. It's over quick. Okay, so now the challenge starts. If he beats Ken, we have a good chance. He's just going to just going to cremasaurus him. <laughs> Come on, get him. Yeah, just 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 Cheap him out in the corner. 
This reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to play Street Fighter. That one guy who just, just kicks your ass in the corner. I mean, at the end of the day, the game's supposed to be balanced. But who knows? I still feel like Ryu has... Oh my god, don't let him do it! Yeah! That was close. I legitimately don't want to watch this again, so I hope he beats it. <laughs> uh, Chun-Li! I remember Chun-Li being pretty easy. So, famous last words, right? Let's see if let's see if he gets her. When I originally trained this, I used the uh, large scale... Yeah, perfect. Lovely. I used the large scale curiosity bot to see how he'd do. Uh, and it worked pretty good. He got all the way to fighting himself. It did not beat it, but I also didn't train it for that long. It's weird to think that a curiosity bot would be good at a fighting game because it's not really about exploration, but I guess uh, the more he beats, the more he sees, right? And he gets real good at learning how to do it. That might be, honestly, at the end of the day, that might be where reinforcement learning goes to all curiosity bots all the time, or at least having a portion of their training curiosity because like, it's one of the fundamental concepts of human minds right we're curious like we're doing we're all here watching this video and writing this software because we're curious so i think our ai should do the same thing i'm probably not the first one to say that <laughs> but i do believe it same with the uh, genetic algorithms like a lot of uh, a lot of people on this channel showed up because of the sonic bot the neat bot uh with the genetic algorithms that i think a lot of people are attracted to that for reinforcement originally because it's interesting that it mimics evolutionary behavior. It's somehow more pleasing to know that the AI like grew its own brain and learned how to do a task than it is to just set a, you know, like a, for example, a, like some three layer CNN and then train it uh, with cool stuff like these, these A2Cs and PPOs. They do all the it's like extremely advanced and obviously much better than neat but uh it doesn't feel as good as when the network evolves itself dude so dalzim is frequently a big challenge because i think because he's so much different than the other characters so let's hope he gets them oh my god oh man it might end here at dalzim yeah yeah dance buddy this game is extremely racist by the way <laughs> you got uh ganesh in the background there that's cool Yes! Somebody was saying in the um, the new uh, Street Fighter game, Street Fighter V, that um, there's a bunch of like advertisements on all the... What was I, did I finish my thought about NEAT? I think neural networks need curiosity, reinforcement learning, and uh, the evolutionary algorithms too. I think all of them need to be brought in together. Um, and I think when you do NLP, like natural language processing, a lot of the modern stuff deals with uh, embeddings. They, they, they embed word vectors in space, in like a multi-dimensional space. And the associations of like, the, the network learns to associate uh, a bunch of words together. So like when it, it the, the network itself will learn the structure of a sentence, but then it can also learn the meaning of words, at least their associations. Come on. See, beating Ryu is tough. This is one of the challenges. And I think those embeddings, when you embed vectors, word vectors together in space, I think that's really powerful. Uh, I think it should be used for pretty much everything. I know, for example, OpenAI, come on, Ryu, get them. Ryu, don't do it. Ryu! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, man! Ah, <sighs> okay. Okay, let's get him back there. We'll do this part and fast forward. That sucks. Okay, it's gonna fight. This is where we left off. Okay, here we are. We're back. Yay! This time, I really hope uh, he beats Ryu. Because if he beats Ryu, there's a pretty good chance he'll beat the game. It's just Ryu is such... You know, he's tough, right? Fireballs. Okay, that was good. That's a good start. I believe when I left off, I was talking about what I think neural networks need to have. And it's everything. My point is neural networks need to combine all types of networks. And then I think, uh, you know, I think if we evolve a network over time and use reinforcement to train it like it was a kid. Oh, come on, get him. 
Get him. One more. One more. Oh, you bastard. Ah, it's so fucking Ryu, man. Ryu is tough. Um. Oh, man. This is not going well. Get him. I don't want to watch this again. <laughs> okay, if it doesn't work this time, I'll just play the video that I have of him beating. All right, we did it. That's exciting. <laughs> if he fails again, though, just so that I don't have to watch this whole thing again, I'll just open up the uh, the video file I have of this and show you guys. Because <laughs> I have a good recording of him beating uh, M all the way to M. Bison. Balrog offers... What is his name? Is his name Balrog? Offers no competition. That guy is a joke. He was always a joke. I never understood. He didn't seem to fit in with the rest of the game. Like, a boxer? I don't know. I guess some people used him. I've never personally watched the competitive Street Fighter. I would love to. I'm going to set up this AI so you guys can fight it online on my webpage. Uh, <laughs> that's my goal for this Christmas break. I promise nothing, because I have a bunch of other stuff to do, but I'll do it eventually. And then you guys can fight my AI. You probably win. He's not... He's not. I'm playing this on easy, don't forget. Yeah, the boxes are kicking his ass right now, so. <laughs> okay, here we are. Final stretch. Vega. Yeah, Vega offered a real challenge at the beginning, at the very start of the uh, training. The one time we got here, after the very first training loop that I did, Vega just destroyed him with these, uh, yeah. But now he does the, the, the dragon uppercuts, and Vega's no challenge. You guys remember the first time you saw Vega climbing on the steel mesh? What do you call that? Chicken wire fence? That's cool. This is a good game. <laughs> yeah. How many people thought Vega was a girl first time they played? And then were confused? Probably a few. Okay, Saget. This is the real, in my opinion, boss of Street Fighter. He is ridiculous. I know M. Bison is way harder. Uh... I have a feeling we're not going to win this one. And if we don't, I... Oh, come on, man. Get him. Get him. Get him. One more. Fireball. 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 Oh, you idiot. So he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> it's a slightly better than random bot. That's, that's what he is. I really don't want to watch him do this again. I should have set him up so he could do continues. Get him. Get him. Nice. Okay. Uh, we we're, we still got a chance here. <laughs> it all comes down to this. I was going to release a, uh, another video today. I'm glad I made this one. It's been fun. Chatting about AIs and stuff. Wow. You going to hit him, bud, or what? There we go. Now get in there. Get in there and just cream a source him. Nope. That's not how you win. Okay. We're going to watch the video. <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching guys. The uh, I'll start it off at Saget. You guys can watch him beat Saget and M. Bison. Uh, I'll see you guys later on. There'll be a new video with with Neat. It'll be neat. <laughs> later. Island. Round one. Fight.
Round two, fight! I'm broken! 